In this video we're going to be removing the seats and the rear trim of a Suzuki Jimny so we can gain access to the connectors to wire up the rear speakers. We will start by folding the seats in the upward position and then removing the four bolts securing the bases. We then move on to the two bolts that secure the seat belts to the floor. We then remove the plastic trim to access the bolts that secure the centre part of the seats and the seat belt mounts. Then round to the back of the car to remove the plastic trim. This can be a little bit fiddly. With the trim out of the way, you then have access to the retaining bolts. With the seat backs, there's two ways of removing them. The first one is to undo the bolt which attaches the side of the seat to the side of the car. For this, you'll need an open-ended spanner. The other method is to lift up the back of the fabric on the chair and remove the bolt that secures the mounting bracket to the chair itself. You can now move the seats out of the way and then remove the mounting bracket and the space that sits behind it. With the seats out of the way, we move on to the next stage, which is removing the carpet. Simply prise the plastic tabs up carefully with a screwdriver to remove them. With the carpets removed, you'll find there are a few self-tapping screws that can be removed from the bottom of the plastic trim panels. The rear tailgate trim is held in place by plastic rivets. To remove these, simply push the central pin down with a screwdriver and then using a plastic pry tool, you can then lift the rivet out. Our vehicle had a fire extinguisher fitted. I don't think this is standard, but we're showing it being removed. When you go to replace the plastic rivets, simply push the body into the hole and then use the plastic peg to lock it into place. With all the rivets out of the way, the next job is to remove the side panel. To do this, simply put your plastic pry tool in at the edge at the bottom and slowly work your way up. It will make horrible popping and cracking noises. Work your way around the panel, gently prying it away. Don't forget to clear the hole with the seat base mounts too at the bottom. Once you have the panel loose, lift it up and pull it back and it should come away in one unit. The process on the other side is exactly the same. The factory connector for the rear speakers is found in the near side rear wheel arch wiring loom. On the connector, the green wires are for the left-hand speaker, the grey wires are for the right. The wires with the black trace are the negative. I did find some documentation that had this wiring diagram exactly reversed, which is how I originally wired it up and found it was wrong. Um, so don't make the same mistake I did. The reassembly is, of course, exactly the opposite of the assembly.